you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm be going over what you should be doing before the Halloween Most Feared promo ends. So, if you're already watching this, boys, and it's today. There's certain things you're not going to have to do anymore. Remember that. Because now that the promo is at its peak, it's at the end of it, it's towards it's, it's coming down, it's barreling down. I think the auction block has been locked for some of these players. I'll show you guys what I mean right now. So, with the enraged cards coming out today, if you guys already know, they are not auctionable, they are not tradable, they are not allowed to be in sets. So, that does mean that you can't sell these cards. I'll give you advice for what to do the second they're unenraged. I'll give you guys some advice on what to do at this point. But hopefully, you guys took some of my advice. I mean, I think it still applies. But remember, what you have is what you're stuck with for the time being. They are enraged. So, at this point, you guys can just have fun with them. If you're stuck with them, go we'll take advantage of them. Guys, there's some, if you guys have, like, Marcus Mariota, he has, like, a 90 speed. You can really have some fun with some of these cards. If you guys kept, like, guys like Dante Fowler, 80 overall, he's an 86. He's pretty he's pretty nice now. Ray Lewis, the one I said he's to keep, he is an 85 now, so he's a decent user linebacker for you guys. A few little things. Carl Joseph, uh, Jacoby Brissett, 78 speed, nah, not too great. Star Little Lely. There's plenty of little cards you could still have, may have a little fun with if you did hold on to them. But it's not what this video is about. It is about what you guys should be doing for now, today, and what you should be doing to end this promo so you guys go out on a bang and you guys go out with the proper amount of coins and how, I, how I'm going to be going away with this. So before we get into this video, boys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noty bell, boys. Come join the family. We hit 11k like I've been saying, so you guys have been killing it. Thank you guys so much. We're going for 12k next, so you guys got to keep smashing it. Come join the family. You won't regret it. Ask anyone else in this community. We have a great time over here, boys. Although I need a haircut. You definitely need a haircut. Yeah, 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 we do. Anyways, comment down below what you guys think. What you guys? What were your opinions on the most weird promo? What are you guys doing to end off the promo? Who, what players are you keeping from this promo? I'll go over what I'm keeping. But if you haven't already, also go, go give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 250 likes. I hope you guys can hit that. You guys have been killing it with the, uh, the like button. And if you're an OG or a loyal fan, you know what to do. Smash the for support, smash the like button, boys. And let's get into this video. So, first things first. What players do I think you want to come away from this promo with? Okay, so, I'm going to go through this through sets, right? These are, the, these are the core players. The LTDs and the other cards, forget all that. These are the main things we're talking about. There was Peyton Manning. There was Frederick, Sue, Ward. Then there was Ray Lewis, Earl Thomas, Cam Newton, and Tyler Lockett. So in my personal, personal, personal opinion, boys, what do I think the best cards come away with? So let's start with the Ray Lewis set, right? With the Ray Lewis set, what we're working with here is cards that we all thought initially were underwhelming for the most part. We all thought that not many people were fans of these cards to begin with, so that's gonna kind of influence my decision here. So Earl Thomas, I don't think it's a guy that you wanna really hold into the next big promo. I think in the Thanksgiving promo, we might get a Sean Taylor. Some new monster free safety. We're going to get the uh, the Calvin Johnson free safety as a redux, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't think you want to hold Earl Thomas. Now, Cam Newton. I don't think you want to Cam Newton during this promo. I don't think Earl Thomas or Cam Newton are either cards that you really want to go into the next promo with. I think they're sells. But I'd wait. Don't You can't, can't sell them yet. I'd wait because I think when bats convert to training, their value should either go up or stay at least the same. So, you're going to be just fine with that. So, definitely wait from that standpoint. Next, you guys are going to be looking at the... If you look at Tyler Lockett, right? He might be the only one that's worth keeping. And even I don't think he's worth it. I don't think he's a long-term option. You obviously can't check him out. He had good... The best stats he had was his speed and I think his, his ball carrier stats, like his juke and his spin. But the issue is I think there's going to be better wide receivers coming out. I don't really want him because my team is already that. I have Torrey Holt, tiny, tiny fast. Tyler Lockett, tiny fast. Tyreek Hill, tiny fast. No. I want Randy Moss. I want a big limited time receiver like that. So I'm saving my coins for that. I don't want a whole slot type receiver type team. So... In my opinion, the only guy you could keep from these three is Lockett. But personally, I'm not keeping any three on my own team. Now, Ray Lewis, he's a keep. I think Ray Lewis is a keep. I'm a huge Ray Lewis fan. I've been telling you guys that. So he's going to stay on my team. Him and Chase are going to lock it down for quite a while. And hopefully he gets a new card in the near future. Not the near future, you know. At some point when he needs one so I can upgrade him again. Now this set. I personally think... Oh, this is tough. You want Frederick. In my opinion, Frederick is the best center in the game. Powered up and chemed up like I have him. He has like 95 uh, run blocking stats or pass block. I forget which one. I think it was run blocking. He is a monster. You're going to want Frederick. He's the best center in the game, in my opinion, for a pretty cheap price. I recommend you pick him up. Sue, I don't think Sue's worth it. 
See, if if you don't have Aaron Donald, then you sue. But I have Donald, and I plan to keep Donald the whole year. So I don't really want to sue. But again, you can always quick sell him, or you can just not pick him up. So I, I don't think sue is worth it. I put him at defensive tackle, but the issue is that his, his overall sucks defensive tackle, if you guys care about that. At defensive tackle, he will be a monster. That's up to you guys. Now, Denzel Ward, a must cop. He is one guy that you need to take away from this promo. He's amazing. If you guys compare him to limited time Deion Sanders, they are the same card, except for the fact that Deion has a little bit more interception type stats where he can go return the ball a little crazier. That He has the kick return stats. Like, that's it. Deion has that, athletic, that crazy uh, offensive athleticism type stuff. But other than that, him and Denzel Ward are so similar when it comes to coverage besides zone. So Denzel Ward for a non-limited time card for 260k, like he really gets the job done. If you power up and chem him up like I did, he has like a 94 speed. Highly recommend you guys get on the Denzel Ward bandwagon and Travis Frederick. Now Peyton Manning, I think Peyton Manning and Sue are sells. I think Lockett, Cam Newton, and Earl Thomas are all sells. I think those are the cards you don't want to come away with. But obviously I gave you the ones enough from here. Vita Bay is decent. Obviously they're all up and grow overall. Anthony Barr is good. Michael Thomas is kind of ass because of his speed. So personally, that's pretty much wrapped up what I think you should keep. Now, you're going to sell them. You obviously have to wait till November 1st, which at that point, the new Sears will be here. But you have to wait till November 1st because until then, you're gonna they're going to be enraged. You have to wait till 10, November 1st, 1030, which is when the promo will end, which most likely, I'm hoping is when they do the Bass training conversion. If they do do it then, then they will come out to trade and give it a little bit of time, let the market settle, and then see where they go from there. Now, if you guys have any leftover bats, it's up to you guys. So we're probably, so they're going to be a conversion rate. I don't think the conversion rate will be half, right? Because think about it. 10,000 bats is not 5,000 training. 10,000 bats is like 60K, 70K-ish, right? So I don't think that it, it, it can't be, it can't be training. Because if you think about it, 10,000 bats is more like, let's see, 70K. It's more like 2,000 training. 2,600 training is more so. So it's about, let's just call it a third, right? We'll, we'll round it to a third. I think we'll probably get like a third of training. So 10,000 bats will probably give me like, 2.5 to 3k training back in my opinion so if you guys have like a hundred thousand bats do you want thirty thousand training or do you want to, or do you want to just get your bats back so let's say uh, with a let's say you have a hundred thousand bats you realistically could come over here it's over here most feared and you could just buy two of these let's just say 50k each you can sell them both for like 300k when all said and done you can get like 600k back on these or would you rather have thirty three thousand training which thirty three thousand training is probably more than 600k so i don't it all depends like if the if it is a third right if it is a third of training training will probably be more valuable if it's half it'll be crazy more valuable they do give us a quarter though which seems like it could be very likely they give us a quarter then it will probably be about even i don't imagine is gonna give us that big of a training buff they'll probably end up making it more even than than not so in that case it's up to you guys would you rather cash out now it comes down to would you rather cash out or get the really efficient training it's up to you Personally, I'm not gonna. There's nothing. To, there's not much to cash out with 10,000 bats. I'll just take whatever training they give me back and be happy with it. But it's up to you guys. What do you more? What do you value more? The coins or the training? You want to cash out? You can. If you want to wait for the training and see what you can do with that. That's also great. If you have like 33,000 training, you'll be set for quite a while. So, however you guys plan to go about that, that's all. It's up to it's your business. And as far as the solo stuff, remember the collagen solo is all stuff that does expire pretty soon. House rules expires. I think tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So you want to get your house rules done, boys. That is your last chance to get your free player. And then the Cauldron Souls and everything that will be expiring. So once that's expired, that's pretty much about it. You're not going to be able to get any of the other stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy, guys. It's mostly the promo is almost over. Kind of upsetting, to be quite honest with you. I really... I liked it. I thought it was a little underwhelming in some aspects, but I did like it. I wish there was a scary fast set too. Like they had the strong, the sharp master. I don't know why there wasn't a scary fast master. And real quick, just to drop this in the video since I forgot earlier, there's a Madden Club Championship uh, Twitch pack. Tune into Twitch for pack drops and return for the following dates to see. On all these dates, if you if you get all these packs uh, to see the, um, do all the challenges, you will be getting a free Raiders Legend, uh, I believe sometime in December. It says it's expired January 30th, 2020, but just drop that in there real quick. I believe it's an 89 to 91 like Raiders legend, but let's drop it in there. Now, the Gridiron Nightmares, those also end soon. So if you guys have any skill materials, you have any of those material stuff, you're gonna wanna use those. Cause when the promo's over, they're gonna have a quick sell value. So you can either wait for the quick sell value, which isn't usually that great, like 5K, maybe 4K, or you can just use them now, complete whatever you gotta complete, all your sets, anything you have done. Cause remember, if you have anything in these sets, you're not gonna be screwed. 
but you're not gonna get the, you're just gonna get it back like if you have scary strong set almost done for frederick or something you're gonna get them all back and they're gonna be stuck with quick sell on them all which if it's 5k each it could be worth it but it might just be 2k it all depends on what the end of value he's at so it all depends on ea, EA gets the next move in the set in this in this what's the word they get the next move in this uh system the way they run so guys that's about that's about it for the video i hope this helps you guys out with what you want to be doing for, to finish off this promo to wrap it up i will have a series three recap for you guys tomorrow after watching the special stream but that is about it for the video if you guys are new to the channel make sure to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button boys turn on that noti bell come join the family comment down below what you guys are doing to end this promo and that's it make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get let's keep grinding let's keep grinding out boys hopefully you guys see this today i'm out see you guys next video peace